Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I have a really fun three-dimensional project. I will be using the new Designer's Choice die set by Tonic Studios. It's called Cozy Cantilever Box die set and uh, it retails for less than $20. And if you take a look, you get tons and tons of dies in the set. Now, if you look at here, you can see exactly what you can do. There is a big die that you can use to create a little box, which is this one. I'm just going to take it out so you can tell pretty much what comes in this set. And you can make as many of them as you like and then put them together. There are hinges and other parts that you can use. To create a cantilever box, one that opens up like a ladder. And you can see at the back there are different ways that you can put these boxes together. And there is a guide that comes with the kit as well. Now, there are many other creative ways that you can use this die set. And you get so many different bits and pieces that you can use for everyday crafting. So I'm going to take out some of them and talk a little bit about them. So first of all, you get a square. A square is something that you always need in your stash. Now, on the inside of the square, you can add this die that uh, cuts out a beautiful design. This can also fit to decorate the box, but it also can decorate uh, your cards and they create lovely windows for uh, shaker cards as well. There are many rectangles and I like rectangles for cutting out my sentiments. They come in different sizes. Some of them have stitching all around or little dots. They are decorative. So again, these are very versatile and you can use them on your everyday crafting. Check out how many of those rectangles you get, all in different thicknesses, as well as with different decorative elements. These are obviously meant to decorate your boxes, the sides of them, but uh, there are so many different ways that you can use them. So you can see there are other rectangles with lovely designs and I absolutely love this part. This looks like a belt. You can wrap it around the card, for example, or of course you can wrap it around your boxes for the three-dimensional project. You can follow the instructions to create a cantilever box that can be as big as you like, or you can think outside of the box and create something completely different and more creative. You will find lots of videos on the Tonic Studios website on how you can put this box together. But for today, I'm going for a completely different project. A vintage looking box that can hold your jewelry or other bits and pieces. I keep it on my craft desk and I absolutely love it. You will have lots of fun creating it and it is really quick and simple. So I used the big die from the set to cut out the two basic shapes. And all I'm doing here is to reinforce the crease lines. I'm using my bone folder all over. And I used craft cardstock to cut them out since I'm going for a vintage look. So the idea here is to create uh, two boxes, but instead of stacking them one on top of the other to create that ladder look, I'm going to put one on top of the other upside down. This way I will have a lid and I am going to use the hinges that are available in the kit so that I can slide the top to open my box. Now all I'm doing is using my Nouveau Deluxe glue on the flaps and uh, I'm putting the um, box together and you can use these little boxes for way more uh, ways than just the cantilever uh, box. For example, you can use them to hold treats. On the sides, it comes already with those holes. So you, with a brush, you can attach a little uh, handle. So it becomes a basket immediately. And on the inside, it, holds, uh, it can hold little uh, treats such as candies or chocolate. It is big enough to hold tiny little things like that. Now, of course, you can use your double-sided tape on the flaps to put your box together. I was too lazy to look through my stuff and find it. So I'm just using my Nouveau Deluxe glue, which is a great glue and it grabs paper really quickly. So you see, I didn't have to wait too much and it ended up uh, nice and sturdy. Make as many of these as you like and stack them with the hinges. Just follow the guidelines and you will be able to slide them open. But instead, I'm going to put that upside down, so I will end up having a lovely box. I am going to use the hinges to keep those two boxes together and slide them open. The mechanism is really easy to do. All you have to do is to cut out two of those hinges. 
you attach it on a diagonal and you can add a second one if you like. I'm just going to go with one hitch on each side. Now since I'm going for a vintage look, I grabbed this special paper by Tonic Studios. This is embossed and it really looks like leather. However, it is paper. So I used that die to cut out two more hinges out of this and I'm going to stick that on top of my craft. This is going to reinforce my hinge just a little bit and at the same time it's going to decorate it which is perfect for the look that I'm going for. When I'm attaching pieces like this together I always like to work with liquid glue. This way I can slide one piece over the other to make sure that it matches perfectly, which is something that I wouldn't be able to do if I was using tape runner or any other double-sided tape. Now, since I'm going for a vintage look, I'm going to bring in a blending tool as well as my Distress Oxide ink, and that's Vintage Photo, and I'm going to ink up those two boxes all over. You can of course do that after you attach the hinges and you put your box together, but it is definitely easier to do it in this step. Attaching the box together with the sliding mechanism is super easy to do. All you have to do is to attach the hinge with a brad on the first hole of one box. And then I'm going to do that on the other side as well. Again, adding a brad through that hinge and the box. And I like to use my poke tool to open out those legs at the back. And then for the second box, I'm going to add a brad and this time I'm going on the middle hole. The holes are already there on the sides of the boxes and they are made from the die. I will do the same thing on the other side. Again, first hole connected to second hole and that's the finished project. I can slide it open and close easily. And imagine that you can do the exact same thing with the top box upside down and stack even more boxes on top so that you can create your cantilever look. It's a really fun project to do and I absolutely love when I end up with a three-dimensional project since I usually work with flat projects and I create cards. Now I'm going to decorate my box and make it uh, more uh, interesting. So I used that square decorative die and I cut out this design by using the same brown embossed paper that I used to cut out the hinges, the one that looks like leather and you will find it linked down below. And to decorate it just a little bit more I'm going to use some metal parts that I had in my stash. So this is a metal label. I am holding it in place and I'm going to poke a couple of holes. Of course if you plan ahead it would be easier to poke the holes before you turn the flat paper into a dimensional one. However, this worked just fine. I also grabbed a sticker from my sticker book booklet by Tim Holtz that says Create, which I'm going to stick it down as if this is the label. And then on top I'm going to place the metal label and it comes with brads on either side. And again, this would have been way easier if I was thinking ahead and I added that label with the brass beforehand, before, before putting those two boxes together. But it worked just fine. Now, at the top, I do have one another metal piece, which is uh, really adorable. It is a kind of a handle. Again, I need to make a hole so that I can poke that handle inside. And again, this one works like a um, brad. I am trying to reach inside and open up those legs and my project is pretty much ready. I absolutely love it, super adorable. Now you can decorate it even more and take it a step further. For example, there is this die that cuts out this piece that looks like a belt. You can wrap it around on your box and this is going to actually cover up the holes on the sides if you don't like to look at them. And there are also other pieces like the rectangle dies that cut out little rectangles. So you can cut those and stick them down to cover up holes or to decorate your box all around if you like. 
I kind of like mine as it is, nice and simple, after all I do have all those metal pieces on top, so I'm going to leave it as it is. However, you can use flowers, you can use foliage to decorate the top of it, and if you take a closer look you will see that the decoration at the top has some butterflies, you can even cut just those ones from a different colored paper and stick them on top. Here are some close-up photos on the project that I made for today. You will find links to this die set and everything else that I used down below in the description area. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well as leave me a comment. It's the way to let me know that you like my videos and you want to see more. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.